Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today we're going to be touring the island of Bengal by Alexa over on Instagram. Look at this flag, by the way. This is so funny. This island is super cute. It's got a modern natural suburb theme. As Alexa said, this is the map. Let me show you. So we've got Alexa and then Chow, Doby, Apollo, Harry, Wade, Julian, Monty, Eric, Pearl, and Marshall. What a cute selection of villagers. We've also got a lot of custom pathing, a lot of terraforming happening here. So I'm really excited to delve into this island. Let's go. The entrance is already very welcoming and it's very close to resident services. So if you have a close airport, here's some inspiration for you for how to handle it. I think this is a great way to do it. Just a little pavilion type deal, a little area to chill, hang out. And then over here, look at this. We've got a cute little gradient garden, a little ombre effect going on here. This is so cute. This island, when I saw the pictures, it just made me so nostalgic for early Animal Crossing. I don't know what it is because there are plenty of items on the island here that were introduced in, you know, the 2.0 update. But this, I don't know, it just makes me so nostalgic. I think the elements of the builds, the build ideas themselves are really nostalgic. Look at this ocean sunfish hanging out on the beach. We've got like a little fishing area here. Lots of fish on display. It's kind of like a, an aquarium. We've also got trophies, so it's apparently a fishing competition. Cute. This is so cool. We've got some more gradient flowers over here, just showing off all the hybrid colors available. I don't know what way we're going. We're just hanging out. Here are some villager homes. How cute, the little bunny day wreath, underappreciated in my opinion. And another villager home. Oh, here's Alexa. Bring -uh it on, that's funny. Look at this. Look at Julian. And we've got Doby here. Surprising number of villagers out and about for the evening time. Oh, this is cute. Look at this little curved street line. I wanna stand under it. I wish we could stand under the light. Like SpongeBob in the episode where he's like the criminal and Patrick's looking at him. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. This is super cute though. We've got little boats here on the beach. It's like a little dock, a little pier. Oh, up here we've got a guy chilling, the rescue mannequin used as a little guy chilling on the beach here. Cute. I love all the custom designs on the beach, by the way. These look lovely. Is this? Yeah. I love the little cliffs terraformed around the island. I think they're really cute. And I don't know, maybe that's part of why I'm so reminded of early Animal Crossing. This was my vibe, bro. Just building little cliffs to put trees on for some height around different areas. That was my whole meta for early Animal Crossing design. This is really cute. Look at this little garden. There's water underneath the planter. I love that. I also love the fencing used to create a little a little tiny yard for this villager. Let's go and see their house. Oh, this is Pearl. Look at her cute little home. Her phone is ringing. There's little music coming out of her speaker. The details are so cute. Oh my gosh. And then she's got her little enclosed bed area over here, like its own separate room. We've got like a studio apartment vibe. Oh my gosh, I'm just noticing the cat tower as well. I love putting cat towers in the cat's houses. It's so funny to imagine them trying to use them because the cat towers are so small compared to the size of the cat villagers. It's just silly. But yeah, she's also got this cute little kitchen area. Big fishing island. Look at her with her fresh fish. All right, moving right along here. There's more decor up the beach. Look at it. Oh, I accidentally sat in a hammock. Oh, look, there's like castle designs with hidden treasure. That's cool. I don't know that I've ever seen this. There's even actual bells out here, a little treasure map. Even a pearl, this is adorable. The treasure chest item is underrated too, in my opinion. I don't see that enough. It's kind of a cool item. I kind of want to explore the land as we're exploring the beach. So we'll go up this way. Another little villager home, little beach side home. And this is cute. We're moving out of the like pirate zone into another little fishing area. We've got a shark. Don't be afraid. I'm afraid. And then the peninsula is well designed. We've got a little staircase leading up here. How cute. 
a little lighthouse. I love that it's evening too, so you can actually see the light from the lighthouse. Love that. And a little beach campfire. Absolutely necessary for your summer getaway, to be honest. Seems like we've got some farming going on back here as well. A little bit of agriculture on the island. We are a developing society here. This is cute. Look at the silo. I like it adding height to the back of the island here. And then there's some more pirate stuff. The, um, I love the attention to the fact that this is an island. So there's a lot of sea themed things going on, even on the land. I do appreciate that. I think it looks great. This is the town garden. That's so cute. Little community garden. You can go get fresh tomatoes. I wish. I don't know how loud it is for you all, but there is also music playing around different parts of the island. And I love when people do that, when they add like little radios and stuff behind trees. So there is music. We've got a little fishing hole, swimming hole here. The vibes are just really lovely. I would love to go for a little nighttime stroll around this island in real life. Oh, we've got a campsite sign, a little sunken campsite in the back of the island. Look at all of this. It's like camping down here. Look, I love the little stools surrounding the campfire. And then the actual campsite building is up here on this cliff, kind of overlooking the camping area. That's so cute. And it's also got access to the beach with this beach rock. I love the use that Alexa has made here of the beach rocks on the island. It's all just stunning. I think we also have like a Spider-Man fan because I've seen this little Spider-Man custom design a couple of times now. You can also just walk right on by the campsite here. Very cute. Oh, we've got the museum down here. We'll go and visit that later. We've got a sign here pointing to the forest, apparently. We are perhaps heading into a little forest area. Look at that, the tent, the little gravestone. Almost a creepy vibe. Oh, we've got some ruins. I love to see these being used well too, especially with the vine in the cave too. Very nice little area, very mysterious. And this, oh, this is where the villager, the resident representative house is. They've got their own little setup here, very clever to have, you know, a storage shed, DIY bench, some customization kits, everything you can need out here by the house, very cute. Also some seasonal decor here. We've got just a little jack-o'-lantern. Maybe it's a year-round jack-o'-lantern family. And then I didn't even didn't even process that we've got Elmo on fire here. Let's head into the house. Okay, the vibes are immaculate. Hello, the mood lighting in here. It also is apparently Halloween on the island, so we've got a little trick-or-treat set up here. They're displaying some both hard to catch and cute sea creatures. Look at them. I can't remember what this guy is called, but he was so hard to catch when I was in my fish catching era. He was a difficult one. He's also a little creepy, also a little creepy. But yeah, this mood lighting is everything. We've got a very cozy, comfy little modern living room complete with a piano and the lighting is so well done around the piano. Like, are you joking? Let's go explore the rest of the house. Okay, we've got a nice swanky little bathroom. I love the black and white theme so far. Also, the custom design like polishing on the toilet is kind of concerning. Is it stinky? I don't know. Very cute though. We've all the little makeup on the counter. That's adorable. We've got a scale. Everything just feels so realistic here. <gasps> Look at the mirror. It literally reflects the faucet, bro. That's adorable. Okay, wow. We've got a little rubber ducky ready for his bath. Cute. Okay, this room is like a little gaming room, a little bit messier, but we're just hanging out. This is the chill room. We've also got Shrek going on here. I literally didn't realize that this item could be customized like this, so that's funny. I think that's the first time I've ever noticed that. Yeah, very exciting game room. We've even got like Mario items on display. Very accurate for a real gaming room to have, you know, these little things around. Also the cords on the floor. Yeah, that is in fact a thing. I love the attention to detail with these interiors, the way it's so realistic. Okay, and here's the bedroom. Definitely lived in as well. Also with the Shrek thing. Is this island like an, an homage to Shrek? 
We've got a little hamster. I don't think there were hamster villagers on the island, but if there were, that would be hilarious. We've got snacks and a Nintendo Switch in the bed. That's cute. That is so cute. We've got everything we need here. Lots of clothing items, a little laptop for work or watching. It looks like cat videos on YouTube there. This is adorable. Showing off some achievements as well. The little bug poster from the museum, the art poster. Very good. That's another thing about this island that makes me nostalgic. The fact that there are so many displayed creatures, like that used to be all the rage, like going and trying to catch all the things where they were gone each month. And up here, we've got such a cute little kitchen with a dining area for two over here. I love using this countertop table. I can't remember what this is exactly. It looks almost like a work table as a dining table. I feel like I never would have thought to do that, but it looks great here with the black and white theme in the main parts of the house. I also do love that like the parts of the house that guests would be in so far, so like the living room, the bathroom, the kitchen, those have all had this black and white theme that's very cohesive, but the private rooms in the house, you know, the bedroom, the gaming room, those have been, you know, more colorful and private to the person in them. And I think that's cool. Also look at this, they're watching videos while cooking. Oh, I want pancakes. Now I always film when I'm hungry, that's my bad. Oh, downstairs is super swanky. We've got like a private club. It's giving prohibition. It's giving a speakeasy. But no, this is super cute. And look at the like aquarium wall. Are you kidding? There's also a lot of money and something suspicious going on back here. So love that. Live concert, perhaps. This is so fun. And the disco wall, the disco flooring. We're definitely vibing down here. As someone who perpetually struggles with interiors, I love seeing how other people do them. This is cute though, little riverside house. I do wanna go check out to the left of here before we go down that incline. So there is a bridge over here. Oh, we've got like a cricket in a cage back there. This is cute. The music over here reminds me of the Dune movie, which I just went and saw the second one, by the way. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought. No spoilers, of course. Oh, we've got a rock garden. Another early Animal Crossing essential. And there's room around the rocks for you to actually break them if you need to. <gasps> and a villager home. This one has like ski equipment. So I'm guessing this is, my guess is this is Eric and he's gonna have a ski themed interior, some kind of winter theme. We've also got some green energy generation back here. A chainsaw that's just on, sitting on the ground. Probably the safest practice, to be honest. Oh, we've got a little secret beach rock lounge area back here. Before I get distracted, let me go in and see this house. It is Eric and he's got his own little like winter cabin set up. This is adorable. It has that cozy sort of cluttered feel that you'd expect from a little winter cabin. I don't know. This is adorable. The wood by the fire stove. This is so cute. And he's got his little bike on the wall. He too is a fishing master. For some reason, something about the fish plaque that goes on the wall reminds me of Stardew Valley. I don't know. I don't know what it is. This man also has some great food happening. He's got a little bit of a bug problem. You know, it is a cabin out in the woods, so it makes sense. All right, coming back down to the rock garden, there's a little area back here where you can access the secret beach. It does seem like there are questionable practices going on with these like rusty barrels and stuff back here, a literal skeleton. But who am I to say? I'm not, I'm not a detective. We're just gonna let that happen. Look at this double waterfall, hello? That is so cool, as you walk through, you just have a double waterfall experience. I don't know that I've ever seen something like that. What the heck, Alexa? Genius energy? This is so cool. And then to the left here, oh, there's another villager house over here. We've got a lovely little view here though of some, it seems like Eastern themed vibes going on. There's the Karopi bridge and then also the bonsai tree, some bamboo. And the house itself matches this vibe. This is lovely. Let's go in and see what it looks like. Oh, this is Chow. How cute, the little panda villager. This is a beautiful house, by the way. I love the colors. The lucky cat on the table. The best item in Animal Crossing. I'm being so serious. The lucky cat is actually the only thing I need to decorate. 
This is super cute though. Nice, another little area where the villager has everything they need. Chow is also watching videos while cooking. What a vibe. I want to live here with Chow. All right, we're moving right along here. There's another little house down here, but this villager is not home. I do love this custom design path in front of their house though. And they have like such a little enclosed area, their little bamboo forest home. Very cute. Oh, we're kind of like in a big villager neighborhood area. We'll go and visit those houses, but I wanted to check out the beach. Look at this big crab. I remember when everyone was putting these on their beaches and I only ever caught like two. So I had to donate one and I only had one to display and I wanted more. Some more like treasure stuff going on here. I feel like the pirates just own the beaches on this island. It's all mysterious. Look at these cannons too. I don't like that the cannon is aimed at this man. What the heck? There's definitely a lot happening on the beaches here. Oh, we've got a cactus too, right on the water. And then we move into like regular beach vibes. Love that. Now we've just got like little lounging areas and stuff. I like that there are still pearls dropped around though. <gasps> Look at this little surfing area. All the surfboards on display. I think the surfboards in this game are so cool. I need to get this one specifically for Lotus Reef, I think. And this is cute, a little place for you to wash off after you hang out on the sand. We've got a little beachside cafe with great music choice, great music choice. I did not mean to try to emote there for a second. Yeah, look at this little cafe. I love the bistro tables. Moving up, this is the end, I think, of the neighborhood we were seeing earlier. Look at this little wood fire. You can come over and hang out around the fire. Maybe make some s'mores. Let's go see whose house this is. Oh, this is cool. We've got like an outdoor themed house. What is his name, Harry? He's got like a little outdoor home. He's camping. He is roughing it. It's also with the tiki torch, it reminds me of um, Survivor or Last Crosser Standing, the Animal Crossing Survivor game hosted by EJ Plays. This is so cool. All the vines and stuff. I'm honestly impressed that Alexa has managed to get an Azumaya gazebo to fit in the house. All right, this left side of the island does seem to be just a little hub for villager homes. We'll go and check out this other one up here that was open. Look at this, they have a little fountain between their houses. This is cute, let's see who this is. Oh, this is Apollo, he's like a DJ. Look at all his wires. Okay, everything is like shorting out over here. We maybe won't touch all that. He's got his own little scooter though. He's still got everything he needs. He just sleeps on this weight bench. He has a couch, he has a kitchen. When he wants to rest, he just goes over here, lays down. He's living the life. He's got a TV, this is everything I need personally. All right, I don't even know what we've explored at this point. I'm just kind of silly goosing around. But here is Abel Sisters. They've got some mannequins, nice. Cute little display out here. This reminds me of like, bookstores that have little displays outside or like Goodwill when they place some like clothing racks outside to kind of draw you in. Cute. Oh, and here's like a little shopping district. Oh, the nostalgia bro. Little areas where you can pick up DIYs. This one is a pansy table and a rope net wall. Then we have a recipes, the orange pound cake and pear jelly. This is an alt. We've got a little attack on Titan reference up there. The wings of freedom. Hello, this is adorable. And then Nook's Cranny, of course, as like the hub of shopping. It does have an open sign when it is not in fact open, but whatever. And there's this little like alleyway leading back up this way. This is adorable, bro. How cute. We've got a little scooter here and then beach access. You can come down and play some beach volleyball. I love this little swan floaty too. Yeah, we've got a very normal, chill beach here. I didn't expect that from you, Alexa. After all the, the mystery, the pirate lore, this part of the beach is safe. Oh, and another bonfire. This is adorable. Look at the little ukulele and the boba. Now I want to go to the beach and have some boba. I wonder where this warp pipe leads also. We will check that out momentarily, but this is a little beachside picnic, a little riverside, I guess, leading down to the beach. Just wanted to showcase this little area. We're also across from the little cafe from earlier. Cute. Let's see where this warp pipe goes. Oh, it 
it takes you back to the little community garden. Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost. Oh, it put me on the cliff instead of down, but that's okay. That's okay. It does take you back to the community garden though, so that's convenient. It takes you from the front of the island to the back of the island, quick travel. I think this island is a good mix of like aesthetic and then also practicality the way there are, you know, workbenches and stuff by the resident representative's house. And then there are also, you know, just areas that are super gorgeous. The double waterfall, dude. Oh, there's also a little path behind resident services. I didn't even notice. Alexa's still walking around out here. Lots to see. Ooh, this is like a little art display. Some extra, uh, some extra statues after the museum was completed. Oh, and here's the museum. That does make sense. A little walkthrough exhibit leading up to the museum. We've got a Brewster gyroid here. This is so cool. Look, they've got even the dinosaur exhibit outside drawing you in the classic T-Rex exhibit. A lot happening here. A little ring pillow. Hello. I wish you could wear rings, but we, alas, do not have fingers. I'm like reasonably confident that we've walked around everything. Did we go? Oh, I don't think we went in this house. Yeah, we did. We did go in this house. Yeah, I think that's Pearl's house. We went in here. We just got to see all of this. Very cute. Lovely little pathways. The town garden and this area up here. Yeah, I think we've seen the entire island. Alexa, thank you so much for having us today. Thank you so much for inviting me to tour this lovely island. This is so precious. Oh, this is cool. First time seeing this, I think, this little walkthrough. Your island is so great. It makes me so nostalgic for some reason, just for early Animal Crossing, like the 2020 community in Animal Crossing. It's just such a vibe. All the little, all the little things, the hybrid flowers, the orchard that we're in the fishing areas. All of it is adorable. And of course, a little bit of island memeing with the Shrek that was everywhere. I hope you all enjoyed this tour and you're also feeling nostalgic and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!